Rationality is the quality or state of being rational, that is, being based on or agreeable to reason. Rationality implies the conformity of one's beliefs with one's reasons to believe, and of one's actions with one's reasons for action. Rationality has different specialized meanings in philosophy, economics, sociology, psychology, evolutionary biology, game theory and political science. To determine what behavior is the most rational, one needs to make several key assumptions, and also needs a logical formulation of the problem. When the goal or problem involves making a decision, rationality factors in all information that is available e.g. complete or incomplete knowledge. Collectively, the formulation and background assumptions are the model within which rationality applies. Rationality is relative, if one accepts a model in which benefiting oneself is optimal, then rationality is equated with behavior that is self-interested to the point of being selfish, whereas if one accepts a model in which benefiting the group is optimal, then purely selfish behavior is deemed irrational. It is thus meaningless to assert rationality without also specifying the background model assumptions describing how the problem is framed and formulated. Theories Max Weber The German sociologist Max Weber proposed an interpretation of social action that distinguished between four different idealized types of rationality. The first, which he called zweckrational or purposive, instrumental rationality, is related to the expectations about the behavior of other human beings or objects in the environment. These expectations serve as means for a particular actor to attain ends, ends which Weber noted were rationally pursued and calculated. The second type, Weber called wertrational or value, belief oriented. Here the action is undertaken for what one might call reasons intrinsic to the actor, some ethical, aesthetic, religious, or other motive, independent of whether it will lead to success. The third type was effectual, determined by an actor's specific affect, feeling, or emotion—to which Weber himself said that this was a kind of rationality that was on the borderline of what he considered, "...meaningfully oriented." The fourth was traditional or conventional, determined by ingrained habituation. Weber emphasized that it was very unusual to find only one of these orientations, combinations were the norm. His usage also makes clear that he considered the first two as more significant than the others, and it is arguable that the third and fourth are subtypes of the first two. The advantage in Weber's interpretation of rationality is that it avoids a value-laden assessment, say, that certain kinds of beliefs are irrational. Instead, Weber suggests that a ground or motive can be given—for religious or effect reasons, for example—that may meet the criterion of explanation or justification even if it is not an explanation that fits the zweckrational orientation of means and ends. The opposite is therefore also true, some means ends explanations will not satisfy those whose grounds for action are wertrational. Weber's constructions of rationality have been critiqued both from a Habermasian perspective as devoid of social context and under-theorized in terms of social power and also from a feminist perspective Eagleton, 2003, whereby Weber's rationality constructs are viewed as imbued with masculine values and oriented toward the maintenance of male power. 
an alternative position on rationality which includes both bounded rationality as well as the effective and value based arguments of weber can be found in the critique of etzioni 1988 who reframes thought on decision making to argue for a reversal of the position put forward by weber etzioni illustrates how purposive instrumental reasoning is subordinated by normative considerations ideas on how people ought to behave and effective considerations as a support system for the development of human relationships. Psychology In the psychology of reasoning, psychologists and cognitive scientists have defended different positions on human rationality. One prominent view, due to Philip Johnson Laird and Ruth M. J. Byrne among others is that humans are rational in principle but they err in practice, that is, humans have the competence to be rational but their performance is limited by various factors. However, it has been argued that many standard tests of reasoning, such as those on the conjunction fallacy, on the Wasson selection task, or the base rate fallacy suffer from methodological and conceptual problems. This has led to disputes in psychology over whether researchers should only use standard rules of logic, probability theory and statistics, or rational choice theory as norms of good reasoning. Opponents of this view, such as Gerd Gigerenzer, favor a conception of bounded rationality, especially for tasks under high uncertainty. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Brandt Richard Brandt proposed a «reforming definition» of rationality, arguing someone is rational if their notions survive a form of cognitive psychotherapy. <laughs> Quality Abulov argues that rationality has become an «essentially contested concept» as its proper use, inevitably involves endless disputes." He identifies four fronts for the disputes about the meaning of rationality. The purpose, or function, of ascribing rationality, is it descriptive, explanatory, prescriptive or subjunctive rationality, as if, real? The subject of rationality, what, or who, is rational, the choice, the act, or the choosing actor. Cognition, what is the quality of the cognitive decision-making process, minimal calculative intentionality or optimal expected utility? Rationale, is rationality merely instrumental, that is, agnostic about the logic of human action and its motivations instrumental rationality or does it substantially inform them substantive rationality, focusing on material maximization, it is believed by some philosophers notably A. C. Grayling that a good rationale must be independent of emotions, personal feelings or any kind of instincts. Any process of evaluation or analysis, that may be called rational, is expected to be highly objective, logical and «mechanical». If these minimum requirements are not satisfied i.e. if a person has been, even slightly, influenced by personal emotions, feelings, instincts, or culturally specific moral codes and norms, then the analysis may be termed irrational, due to the injection of subjective bias. Modern cognitive science and neuroscience show that studying the role of emotion in mental function including topics ranging from flashes of scientific insight to making future plans, that no human has ever satisfied this criterion, except perhaps a person with no effective feelings, for example an individual with a massively damaged amygdala or severe psychopathy. Thus, such an idealized form of rationality is best exemplified by computers, and not people. 
However, scholars may productively appeal to the idealization as a point of reference. Topic: Theoretical and practical. Kant had distinguished theoretical from practical reason. Rationality theorist Jesus Mosterin makes a parallel distinction between theoretical and practical rationality, although, according to him, reason and rationality are not the same. Reason would be a psychological faculty, whereas rationality is an optimizing strategy. Humans are not rational by definition, but they can think and behave rationally or not, depending on whether they apply, explicitly or implicitly, the strategy of theoretical and practical rationality to the thoughts they accept and to the actions they perform. The distinction is also described as that between epistemic rationality, the attempt to form beliefs in an unbiased manner, and instrumental rationality. Theoretical rationality has a formal component that reduces to logical consistency and a material component that reduces to empirical support, relying on our inborn mechanisms of signal detection and interpretation. Mosterin distinguishes between involuntary and implicit belief, on the one hand, and voluntary and explicit acceptance, on the other. Theoretical rationality can more properly be said to regulate our acceptances than our beliefs. Practical rationality is the strategy for living one's best possible life, achieving your most important goals and your own preferences in as far as possible. Examples in different fields Topic. Logic As the study of arguments that are correct in virtue of their form, logic is of fundamental importance in the study of rationality. The study of rationality in logic is more concerned with epistemic rationality, that is, attaining beliefs in a rational manner, than instrumental rationality. Economics Rationality plays a key role and there are several strands to this. Firstly, there is the concept of instrumentality—basically the idea that people and organizations are instrumentally rational—that is, adopt the best actions to achieve their goals. Secondly, there is an axiomatic concept that rationality is a matter of being logically consistent within your preferences and beliefs. Thirdly, people have focused on accuracy of beliefs and full use of information. In this view a person who is not rational has beliefs that don't fully use the information they have. Debates within economic sociology also arise as to whether or not people or organizations are «really» rational, as well as whether it makes sense to model them as such in formal models. Some have argued that a kind of bounded rationality makes more sense for such models. Others think that any kind of rationality along the lines of rational choice theory is a useless concept for understanding human behavior. The term Homo economicus, economic man, the imaginary man being assumed in economic models who is logically consistent but amoral, was coined largely in honor of this view. Behavioral economics aims to account for economic actors as they actually are, allowing for psychological biases, rather than assuming idealized instrumental rationality. <laughs> Artificial intelligence Within artificial intelligence, a rational agent is typically one that maximizes its expected utility, given its current knowledge. Utility is the usefulness of the consequences of its actions. 
The utility function is arbitrarily defined by the designer, but should be a function of performance, which is the directly measurable consequences, such as winning or losing money. In order to make a safe agent that plays defensively, a nonlinear function of performance is often desired, so that the reward for winning is lower than the punishment for losing. An agent might be rational within its own problem area, but finding the rational decision for arbitrarily complex problems is not practically possible. The rationality of human thought is a key problem in the psychology of reasoning. <laughs> International relations There is an ongoing debate over the merits of using rationality in the study of international relations IR. Some scholars hold it indispensable. Others are more critical. Still, the pervasive and persistent usage of «rationality» in political science and IR is beyond dispute. «Rationality» remains ubiquitous in this field. Abulov finds that some 40% of all scholarly references to foreign policy allude to rationality, and this ratio goes up to more than half of pertinent academic publications in the 2000s. He further argues that when it comes to concrete security and foreign policies, IR employment of rationality borders on malpractice. Rationality-based descriptions are largely either false or unfalsifiable. Many observers fail to explicate the meaning of rationality they employ, and the concept is frequently used politically to distinguish between us and them. Equals equals see also.